Hi, I'm Rachel Ainsworth, a researcher here at the University of Manchester and an open science advocate. These days, there are so many outlets, repositories, and platforms through which to share your work. And this is important because it needs to be as easy as possible for people to make their research outputs open access. It has been demonstrated that the more you share your work, the more visibility you have, and therefore the more opportunities for collaboration, jobs, funding, citations, and impact. In astronomy and astrophysics, we have an open access repository called the Archive, which is where we share pre and post prints of our articles, manuscripts, white papers, reviews, book chapters, and theses. This is a platform that has existed for decades and has allowed authors in physics, maths, computer science, statistics, and engineering to share their written works. It facilitates green open access or self-archiving. That is, even if your research article is locked behind a journal paywall, you can deposit a version of it in the open access archive. For example, it is common to deposit the version of your paper that you submitted to the journal, which is known as the preprint as it hasn't yet been peer reviewed. It is even more common to archive the accepted version of the research paper after it has been peer reviewed, which is known as a postprint. Although I highly encourage submitting preprints to the online repository as it allows you to get feedback and input from the community before peer review. The archive is definitely something that I took for granted. For a long time, I didn't realize that we were one of the only communities that actively shared our research in this way. But now, so many other discipline-specific repositories are popping up. There are now open access archives for biology, psychology, chemistry, earth science, paleontology, agriculture, just to name a few. And these offer very easy ways to stay up to date with the latest research being conducted in your research domain, and also to share yours with the world. There are also general open access platforms that are not domain specific, where you can share research outputs ranging from research articles to posters, presentations, images, videos, data, and any other output you can generate throughout your research workflow. Some of these platforms include Zenodo, Figshare, and the Open Science Framework. If you're not sure which repository is right for you, I highly recommend checking out the services offered by your research institution's library. Librarians can help you navigate funder mandates and journal restrictions on self-archiving. Alternatively, you can check out the directory of open access repositories called Open Door Online, which can help you make informed and confident decisions in open access publication and compliance.